Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another Idiot's Guide to Marathon Training. And today is Saturday the 7th, and today I had a rather interesting day, a lot of stress in that with my father and anything else. I got about 45 minutes of sleep last night, so my body really kind of rejected me. Um, I did also end up laying down taking a nap, I got about another 45 minutes of sleep, about an hour before I went for my run, that worked out good for me. I had a seven mile training run today, it was what they call speed work on my training program. They wanted me to run one mile at a warm up speed, which is whatever you want to run. Just they say basically a you know 60% heart rate, what kind of thing, they're talking like a 13 minute mile, a nice slow warm up pace. And they have five miles of run one mile at a, they went a 10.45 pace, I believe it was, 10.45, and then slow down, run a cool down from a half mile, run one mile, cool down half mile, run one mile, and then finish with a one mile cool down. The problem is, by the time you break it out, it ends up being way too much cool down, not enough running for me. So I took off, I kind of took off slow to start with, you know, I probably warmed up the first half mile or so. Then I started picking up speed, I ran a little fast the second half of the first mile, but I kept myself down like the 10.30 average overall the full seven miles. So I was able to run the whole thing at about 15 seconds faster than what they want me to do my three single miles in the middle there, four single miles in the middle there. So that worked out really good for me. I felt pretty good about the whole thing. The overall went well. Realized the speed I was running, I was kind of making the dog run a little bit too fast. He really wasn't liking that speed for that length of time. Short distances, you know, like I had a jerk, he'd outrun me like nothing. But hey, we actually just raced a full mile. I think I was probably able to beat him because he doesn't like to run that hard that far. So, but he made it through, didn't lay down, didn't take a nap or nothing the whole run. So it worked out really good. I've got him fully trained right now in hydro back now. So it's working out really, really well. I'm wasting a lot of water because kind of, I got it streaming out like a pressure deal. That spray in his mouth, he's missing a lot. So I gotta learn how to take a couple more water bottles. I've got a backpack I'm gonna buy for him. He carries a water bottle to refill the hydro and that kind of thing. So other than that, um, everything went good because my body was super sore and that stuff, just with the whole mess of dealing with the stress and not sleeping and all that. And I told myself I'm gonna go run my one mile for my runner streak and I took enough like juice goos and stuff in the water to make it the full seven in case I felt like I wanted to go ahead and face it out. And ironically, once I got out there, I got the first mile in, I felt pretty good, just kept on running. So I did also run into a guy um, without his bike. We kind of chatted, we were kind of crossing paths there. We talked for a little bit, and he headed in another direction. I thought to myself, if you're around, you see me running, feel free to ride along and bullshit whenever, you know, you meet somebody talking to the run. So he went ahead and turned back around there. I said that, and he came back and rode me for probably, I don't know, probably four miles, maybe five miles like that. He rode around me on the bike, and I was running. So we kind of talked and shot the shit a little bit. Um, he was a real, uh, one of my classmates there. It's one of the deals where he's the nephew of his uncle, who's a library classmate, that was actually younger than him. So his, his uncle is younger than he is. So it's kind of weird deals. And, I didn't really know him as much as I knew he's got his uncle, so other than that, um, who knows, he said he was big into fitness a handful of years ago, he used to run all the time, now he bikes around quite a bit, so I might see him out about again, he says he's seen me out right and running quite often, so I might have somebody new to run with at night, so other than that, I don't really know much, um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, so feel free to get out there, lace your shoes up, hit the door, and get your run on. 